Hey, it's Steve Zicker. Welcome back to Pokes for the Channel. Here I'm showing a, a Made in Japan and Alvarez 5022. This one was made in 1976. You know, um, I've learned a lot about these over the years. There's some really special things to look for uh, to, to have a good one of these. And uh, I've got so much time invested in this that I don't want to go through all of that right now. But uh, I'm very picky about the ones that I get. This is really a good one. I just put, I just spent money to get some really good strings on it, and uh, it really has a sound, and it will sound even better once I open it up. So it's probably going to go out of tune as I do this simple demo. I've got it in dad yet. Yeah. This is a lot of guitar for 450, man, you know. And by the way, I would suggest you just, you know, some people call me up and they seem like they're so focused on just shopping lowest price. I mean, if somebody's selling something for the lowest price, there's probably a reason. And uh, to get a vintage guitar made in the 70s for 450 made in Japan with a case is a great situation. This is really a nice guitar. This is this actually came from a trade into my from my studio in Ventura. Um, the guy really liked this guitar a lot, but he's spending a lot of money on his uh, CD and then had to spend money on mastering, so he let this go. It's really a nice guitar. <laughs> It's, it, he said he hasn't played it much the last couple of years, so it's even going to open up more. But just let me just get this slightly closer. But it really, I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it really has a sound. <laughs> For 450, believe me, I don't. I don't BS about this stuff, man. It's 60 years old. I've been playing since I was seven. I really know guitars, and I, I chase down the good ones. Sometimes I get lucky, like in this case, and they walk right into my studio. Oh, what, a, what a beautiful crystalline sound, man.